in one of my previous videos, you may remember me talking about making sure that your calculator is in degrees instead of radians. But we don't even know what a radian is. So that's what I'm here to talk about today because we're going to be using them moving forward. So typically when we talk about angles of rotation, we talk in degrees. So we know what 180 degrees is. We know what 360 degrees is, 45 degrees. That all makes sense. We've been using it for a while. But now we're going to use a different type of angle measure, and it's called a radian. Just like we can change miles into kilometers, we're going to do the same thing with degrees into radians. So what is a radian? If you have any circle on this planet, it's one of these cool things. This is why we love math, right? Any circle out there. If you were to take anything and measure its radius, so I've got a string here, and if you notice, from here to here, I've got my radius. If you take one radius around the outside of your circle, that is one radian. So this angle rotation from here to here is one radian. And one radian is one radius length around the outside of the circle. Okay? That's what a radian is. So this is my radius right there. See, I've got the blue tick mark. That's one radius around the outside. But again, why is that so cool and why do we use radians? So let's take a look here. So we've got one. Let's measure. That's about two. About right here. So there's two radians. And then I'll measure my third. It's about here. So we have one, two, three. And then we've got just this little smidgen left before we could actually reach 180 degrees. Do you want to know how much is left there? It's about point. 1415926. So let me summarize that. For me to go from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, it is 3.1415926 dot 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 forever. What is this number? This is pi. So it takes 3.1415 radians to get to 180 degrees. So I now know 180 degrees equals pi radians. Radians are measured in terms of pi. Unless we convert them to these crazy decimals, we can use pi. Pretty cool, huh? Just to finish that out, if I go from here, here's three, so here's four, Measure that one, I got about five here. I got about six here. Well, now I have even a bigger smidge. Let's say that that is 0 0.283 uh, something. To get here to 360 degrees, that is two pi radians. It took 6.28 radii, so 6.28 radians, radii, to rotate around that circle. And that will work with any circle out there, even if this whole string was my radius. There's going to take 6.28 of these to go around the outside of that circle. So a radian is one radius length around the circumference of your circle. Okay, but we now can see the relationship 180 degrees equals pi radians and 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. Okay, we're going to now use this so we can convert from radians to degrees. 